37 seconds of logos. Can you save my heavy, dirty logo? This is Free City. Huh, looks an uh, awful lot like Pittsburgh. Also, narration. Don't dig too deep on this movie, kids, because you will find yourself asking why the game programmers gave Guy an entire morning routine that no human game player would ever see. NPCs actually tend to spawn as you near their area on the game map. They don't all have 24-hour action life cycles that they repeat. They literally don't exist until the human player gets close to their area, and then they poof into existence and do some boring interaction sh**. Do you realize how much computing power is required and wasted to give Guy his own daily routine a human player never sees? F and this is before he goes thinking for himself like the original programmers intended. Don't give me that bullshit. Why does he have black and white dominoes set up around a tray on his kitchen island? Look, there are a few issues here in this shot. First, this calendar appears to be some kind of rearrangeable, probably magnetized calendar system where the human user swaps around all the numbers every time the month changes. And that is a lot of work, yo. Second, and perhaps most importantly, are these three living plants in a shelf where they would never receive sunlight. And you're gonna be all, maybe they are fake plants, and I'm gonna give you the finger and ask why someone will buy three fake green plants and then place them all on a super shadowed shelf where no one could ever enjoy them. This bank stamp says today, because in the video game, huh. Is this today stamp suggesting time in this game never advances beyond a single day? Because I don't think it is. I think his bank stamp might just read today no matter what day it is. But that's just lazy. The point is that I have questions. I know the woman I'm looking for. Oh, let me guess. The one with the offbeat sense of humor and obsession with feel good diva pop. pop. Yes, that's her. No wonder you can't find her if those are your parameters. How are you supposed to know anything about her taste in music unless you happen to bump into her while she's singing said feel good diva pop? Oh, Jesus, that's exactly what's gonna happen, isn't it? You really British or is that an accent filter? Movie casually invents accent filters, and now I want one so I can call my mom and say, I sound like I'm from London! Clip 56 might interest you. Oh, I got a question. What's so special about this video clip anyway? You just said Clip 56 might be of interest to her. So what the f*** did you mean by that if you hadn't actually understood her interest and pre-watched the video clips? As Mariah Carey's fantasy plays in his head while she lip-syncs it, I have to wonder why they went with a pop song that is literally 25 years old, as opposed to anything in the last decade that might be more recognizable to today's college kids and teenagers. Gen X can't be this movie's only intended audience. People with sunglasses don't talk to people like us! What? Human-controlled players talk to NPCs all the f***ing time! Often in fully animated cutscenes! This movie is a lot like a glory hole blowjob. It's fun and it feels good, just so long as you don't think too deeply about what's going on. The movie suggests you could play the most popular online multiplayer game ever via some random coffeehouse Wi-Fi. And movie is hilarious in its lack of coffeehouse Wi-Fi experience. I usually don't put the chairs on the tables one small coffee over four hours, girl. Jesus, how entitled is this waitress? Coffee houses are definitely where people go to order a single coffee and mooch free Wi-Fi. It's literally keeping the entire industry afloat. Go sell crazy elsewhere, cranky barista girl. We're all stocked up here. I have a lawsuit against the publisher, and the evidence that I need is in the games. So I had oh. my coats... I wish we weren't closing so I could hear more about this. Somebody thought that the unnecessarily rude barista would distract us from this blatant exposition dump. It did not. But also, what coffee house closes in broad f***ing daylight? This looks like 3 p.m. The f*** is going on here? Good morning, Kobe. We see him say good morning to the fish a dozen times in this movie, but we never see him feed that f***ing thing. He looks up and sees the girl he likes again walking directly away from this bank heist. Why would she be here? She had nothing to do with this scene. It's stupid that she would be here. She's literally only here to provoke our protagonist. I was gonna send the fact that this is a pile of Xbox games without an Xbox in sight, but the more damning sin is that this is a pile of Xbox 360 games, and I don't remember anyone saying that this movie was set in 2006. Also, the fact that this copy of Dark Souls is set here, as opposed to being rage launched into the drywall, means we can be fairly certain it hasn't even been f***ing played yet. Okay, here are the magazines on sale here. Nuts, Free City Crime, Vacation, Live Your Best Life, and Fashion. Not a single magazine about aliens and conspiracy theories. No rag about sports, even. Hey, Mouser, check this out. What's up, Keys? Mouser and Keys. Yeah, so you just boot the trash-ass noob, you ban him for life, you're done. This script feels like it was written by somebody who had to ask their kids what a Fortnite is. Hey, 40-year-old virgin! Get over here! Let me get this straight. In order to find a player who they believe is hacking the game, they have to physically play the game and drive around until they find him? Okay, the reason they can't find Guy is because he's an NPC, but they don't know that. So why do they think finding and killing the player in-game will work any better than continuing to search the game's servers and booting them that way? Somehow these very experienced gamers both managed to miss the unarmed and unshielded target standing right in front of them! The f***? If they can presumably make any weapon appear, why not a bazooka? Or, damn it, why are they even chasing him? Just delete the building he's in! Inception his ass already! Come on, Blue Shirt, you can't escape the rabbit! 
We are Apex Predators. It appears Mouser attended the Wonder Woman 1984 school of Apex Predatoring. Oh, you want to play blue shirt? Watch this. Finally. But if they can code anything into existence, why bother with this f***ing ridiculous set of platforms and obstacles? Why not make a flying platform that takes them up to the top or, I don't know, delete the entire f***ing building? <laughs> Shoe taunting. Imagine going to the effort of including this Doctor Who Easter egg and not having Guy use it to escape. What a waste. I'm never gonna die! <laughs> and that was the heartbreaking story of Blue Shirt Guy. But how? Well, killing a player in-game just caused them to respawn somewhere else? Did they somehow encode the card or permaban any player it touches? There's so much wrong in just this single frame. Let's start with all the Pop-Tarts and single-serving Frosted Flakes boxes. Then let's move on to the three different hot sauces on the counter. Next to some tea bags and straws and salt and pepper shakers. This movie has never worked kitchen before. That Mouser is a long and pathetic story involving failed dreams, desperation, and a mountain of college debt. That story sounds horrible and boring and full of white privilege. Mouser would be excellent at cinema sense. I thought we'd be lucky to give it away. That's what's so charming about Keys. This shot seems to have been specifically framed so that Millie's sudden introduction would serve as a dramatic reveal. Kind of makes sense in the context of the movie, but not in the slightest for this interview at a gaming convention. I found a clue. It's on a clip in a camera stash house. All I need from you is to get me in there. I'm no coding expert, but I am still struggling to figure out why anyone has to be physically playing the game to get shit done. Okay, Millie's heard a rumor that there is something somewhere in the game that's weird, but why does she assume that's her stolen code? Shouldn't she be searching through the game's code itself to find the proof she needs? Today's gonna be different, Goldie. Because you're gonna feed him? If Guy the NPC is only supposed to wear the same thing every day, then what is this rebelliously different style of shirt doing in his wardrobe to begin with? So the sunglasses that allow players to see missions and other game elements respawn with him after he died? Why? No, I mean, how do we get from there to wherever this is? You mean the portal gun? She has a damn portal gun? Why didn't she just use that to get up to the generic bad guy lair? Also, this may well look cool, but falling into that portal like this would have meant falling out of that portal straight onto her ass. You have beautiful grenades. Guy knows that this is a grenade, but decides to pull the pin anyway? Thankfully, it doesn't work, because he isn't a high enough level, but he certainly didn't know that. Sometimes forget, not everyone you meet on here is a sociopathic man-child. My reaction whenever I find something vaguely positive in the YouTube comment section. There's nothing about this girl in this whole movie that suggests she'd be likely to collect motorcycles. Look, I'm glad Guy has $300,000. I really am. But this ATM interface is both too busy and too bland. And is this ATM owned by the municipality of Free City? Why would a city have its own ATMs? I have three words for you. Blue Shirt Guy. Somehow a guy's leveling up and method in doing so is newsworthy enough to be on a national breakfast show? How does anyone even know it's happening? It's not like Guy has the ability to stream this shit on Twitch. I love how this movie uses real YouTubers and Twitch people and how I am so old I don't recognize any of them. That's fun. Free Guy gets a Jeopardy clue before CinemaSins does. All I'm doing right now is opening the door. Things you can say when hacking that also make sense while sitting on a toilet. Also, Keys reluctantly decides to help Millie and does this by unlocking doors inside the f***ing game, instead of using his programming genius to dig around in the software of the game itself to find their missing code. Okay, that would have been a much less exciting movie, but at least it would have been shorter. I was trying to steal a video clip, now we're trying not to die. Who are you talking to? If Keys can hear her talking now, why didn't he hear her say, Blue shirt guy? You should definitely go! <sighs> but why? So far, Millie has had no problem kicking all of the ass. So why is she put off by discount Van Helsing and even further discounted Rocky? Especially considering the worst thing that can happen if she is killed is that she respawns somewhere else. Why get this far and then leave the video clip behind? Do you want this movie to go on for two hours, Millie? Thankfully for the hero, Guy somehow knows how to spin out a motorcycle. He literally can't see anything right now. Antoine, we're already way behind porting over the skins from Free City 1. Skins? Don't even worry about that. They won't be usable in Free City 2. Paying people to work on something that you have no intention of using. This must be how the Google Glass team felt. Who are you? I'm Guy. Oh, who are you, really? Still Guy. It seems like this that make this movie nearly two hours long when it was screaming for a 90 minute runtime. I had a relationship end of the bubble gum ice cream. Honestly, that sounds like a very toxic relationship. Is that a swing set? Ice cream and a swing set will now break down this guarded adult into an unguarded, free-spirited child. Out of all the NPCs, this guy just found the one he was looking for. There's needle in a haystack, and then there's needle in a haystack the size of Detroit. She makes out with an NPC, and I'm here for it. People should be able to make out with other people. Video game characters, porcelain dolls, crudely drawn likenesses, Polaroids. One, two, three, four, five. Holy lampathon, Batman! He is the first real artificial intelligence. I think you are utterly glossing over the history of Teddy Ruxpin and Haley Joel Osment. There's not a button for that. Oh, he found the button. 
PG-13 clitoris jokes. Free City 2 is not an update. It's a replacement. It, exactly. So Wasn't that always the case? Free City 2 was never an update. Wasn't it always a brand new game? If it was an update, wouldn't it still be called Free City, but have a subtitle like Fredemption or Freevolution or Fraterns or one of the other obligatory R words? I've looked, Keys. You know I have. I know you have. But now that we both know about Blue Shirt Guy, maybe he can help? But there's no need to keep looking. The next information you need is on the video clip she left back at that player's base. Why is their next step in any way in question? You're a non-player character. <laughs> A background person. Someone designed to make the game more fun for real people. Putting aside the fact that there is no need for Millie to tell Guy any of this in the first place, did she have to break the news in this brutal way? She's just told a newly sentient AI that the main purpose of his existence is to be a punching bag for the humans that created him. Does she want Skynet? Because this is how you get Skynet. I'm fake. The entire world is, is fake. I'm just, I'm not even a main character. I'm just this idiot who's in the, in the background. I am so relieved to learn I'm not alone in feeling this way. Earlier, Guy and Buddy said having a beer on the beach was their favorite thing to do, but on all these trips, they never once threw a rock into the ocean? Sh this force field of convenience is barely off the beach. Have they never dipped their toes or gone for a swim? That building, that's fake. This street, it's fake. That car. That was surprising, yes, but not shocking. Because at this point, I believe even the car manufacturers were tired of his street preaching bullshit. Officer Johnny! Have a good one, guy. <laughs> this movie is hilarious. Holy sh! This guy also has a calendar you rearrange every month. Is this symbolic of something? I don't know, guy. How do you hold this thing? I know Buddy's thing is that he drops his gun as soon as the bank is robbed, but wouldn't he at least be programmed with the ability to hold the damn thing? Okay, NPCs rarely manage to hit anything remotely useful in these games, but they usually know how to point in the general direction of a threat. My god, someone needs to clean this room. Disney appears to have masturbated on almost every square inch of this wall. Okay, let's talk about this Twitch streamer's desk. He has Jack Skellington, which shows good taste. The Cheetos bag is unopened, and he's drinking Canada Dry! This is not a gamer, this is a fucking narc! You want your help, buddy? I don't have the safe word. It. This is funny, but I seriously doubt NPCs were programmed to know much about sex at all, let alone the kind of sex that requires safe words. Also, he's like crazy hot. Oh my god, totally. I'd hit those pixels hard. <laughs> How would... what is... does she mean... You know, I've already spent too much time trying to work out the logistics here. I realize you need a visual for this moment in Guy's life, but this suggests that when a computer server reboots, the game freezes in place for 30 seconds before going dark, instead of cutting straight to the black dark emptiness. I know Free City is a popular game, but goddamn, 100% of the screens in here are Free City. No one is playing Call of Duty? Animal Crossing? Porn? Some wise ass in the comments is going to suggest that this is some kind of Free City specific tournament, which seems like bullshit to me since everyone's got different rigs, but even if it's that, there'd still be someone looking at porn. You said this clip showed a place you'd seen before. I need to know where. The data's been erased, but it's in your head. It's in your head. In your head. NPC. 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 C. C. Also, here we go again with the master programmer trying to f***ing talk to the program instead of diving into its code to find the required information. This will of course eventually work, and makes me wonder if the guy who fixed my laptop last week actually just bribed it with f***ing strawberry ice cream and a motivational pep talk. Well, it is technically a Disney movie, so I should not be surprised at the true love's kiss cliche. I remember everything. So glad we spent the last eight minutes getting right back to where we were eight minutes ago. Gather round! Thank you for coming! How did you tell them all about this meeting? Did you go door to door? A big sign or radio announcement would have been heard or spotted by Antoine, right? We, we can be whatever we want. You can have whatever you like. We can't all be you, guy. That's not true. What's inside of me is inside of you, too. Why do any of these NPCs remember that Guy is special and famous? The game was literally just rebooted, and everyone lost their memories. Guy himself only remembered a moment ago, and that was only because of a kiss. Huddle up! They then huddle around to hear the plan, but there are hundreds of them. Only the 25 or so NPCs nearest Guy are hearing any of this shit right now. Where the hell is everybody? Why do you fucking care? Just take the money, you dumbass. I'm trying as hard as I can, but her account's spoofed. Oh, well, f you can't beat that. Spoofed accounts are basically magic bullets. No one can outsmart a spoofed account. We don't have police, military, no nothing. It's like every NPC went on strike. How is that possible when you have access to their code? Gah! So they can recode the game on the fly so that buildings fall to pieces, but they can't do anything about a player using a spoofed account. Fortunately for our heroes, Mouser has the creative abilities of a man who has narrowly survived an imagination lobotomy, and will continue to throw cars and create havoc everywhere except the exact route that they need to take to get to their destination. What's really gonna bake your noodle is finding out that all this was done with practical effects. Okay, who did that? Who is doing that? How many employees here could have the know-how and access to change the game's fundamental code on the fly? Can't be more than a few.
right? This is where he's counterhacking from, behind a column? This is exactly like a Fast and Furious movie. The only difference is that this movie admits it's a video game. Vehicle or ship stops right at the edge with part of it dangling cliche. Wait, Hitler here didn't take Key's f***ing laptop from him when security found him? The master coder that's been undermining his plans all f***ing day? Which leads me to this. So he coded a way to take all the building's materials and free city and fly it over to the beach to make a bridge out into the ocean? I really, really, really don't think that's how video game code works. Also, why has Keys waited until now to press the day-saving button? What if Antoine had taken his laptop, like any right-thinking person would have done, instead of allowing Keys to have this very dramatic f*** you moment? The fact that this security guy doesn't see Keys opening and typing on his laptop is one of the ten biggest peripheral vision movie fails of all time. Are we supposed to be worried about guys' safety? Like, he's self-aware and they keep calling him AI, but he's just a bit of code. He's been hit by multiple cars and survived God knows what else all movie long. Tiki play. Movie steals the most badass fight from Logan and expects... Wait, Disney owns that now too? Ah, oh, come on! What the sh**? Hearing Chris Evans say what the sh** is so f***ing satisfying. Between the Captain America shield, the portal gun, and the lightsaber, this film is one franchise reference away from being a Ready Player One sequel. Dude somehow blocks, deflects lightsaber blows with his bare arm wrists. What the f***? Okay, how do these f***ing glasses work? I have given them a pass this entire movie, because Guy is an advanced AI, so I was willing to buy that whatever this bullshit interface is, it recognizes him as being alive and gives him player status. But this steroid overdosed walking tree trunk of a code here doesn't even have a completed program. Why would an interface built to allow players to see and interact with things that NPCs can't be compatible with literally any of the NPCs that would break said world once they interacted with it? Apparently, Keys and the security guard inexplicably hung out in the stairwell for 10 minutes so that they could end up in the lobby at the same exact time as Mouser and Antoine. Thank God, because how else would Keys have been able to tell Millie that they were headed to the server room? We're the service to Free City One. See, Antoine, this is what you get for buying the cheap servers. They are famous for shutting down in a way that seems like they are tied directly to the plot. So regardless of which order you smash them up, it will just look like they are building dramatic tension as they gradually collapse the CGI environment without actually hindering the good guys in any way. The single biggest sin in the entire movie is Antoine destroying the servers in haphazard fashion. But the bridge in-game falling apart geographically, allowing our heroes to keep running no matter which tower Antoine kills. Keep going! The bridge was falling apart literally behind them as they ran, but now the bridge has time to wait while these friends say goodbye. It's amazing. Who would have thought that so many people would just want to watch video game characters instead of shoot at them? So, to clarify, this is a movie about the creation of a video game where you aren't actually a player in the game at all. You watch the characters evolve as they go on a variety of adventures spanning all sorts of genres, and all while you sit there and, what, eat popcorn? It'll never catch on. Holy sh**, the NPCs left to their own devices have created a ton of building-based waterfalls, and those are super bad for structural integrity. This girl's realization that Keys is in love with her is as adorable as it is annoyingly obvious. Hello, IT. Have you tried turning it off and on again? 